This week on Lucky Fish we're giving you a taste of life on board during seven weeks in self-isolation in Belize. Seven weeks is plenty enough time to work out what would make the perfect bug out in a post-apocalyptic world. Before we get started I would like to say a special thank you to many of you regular commenters. Jim Nichols, Terry T, Brycey, Rick Gaston, Oh, there's Tim Woods. I mean, there's so many of you. There's too many of you to mention. I'm sorry if I've forgotten you, but thanks so much, guys. You're really helping us to grow, and we really appreciate it. Right, let's jump right in. I'm Zaya. I come from Mongolia, and we have been sailing across the Atlantic Ocean and around the Caribbean for the last five years. And I'm Stuart, and I'm passionate about sailing and teaching sailing. And just recently, our cruise expanded with the arrival of this little guy, Leo. March was a tumultuous time for Lucky Fish. Piece by piece the world started shutting down all around us. Tim made it back to the States okay, and Ariun just managed to jump on one of the last flights out. Guatemala closed its borders, leaving hundreds of cruising yachts stranded without access to the famous hurricane hole, the Rio Dulce. Even if you were to get back into uh, Guatemala, you still can't fly out. And Guatemala right now is locked down until at least the 6th of April. So that's all the info on that. Over. That was optimistic. There was no telling how severe this was going to become, so we took stock of our situation. Maslow's hierarchy of needs is not a bad reference when thinking about priorities. The bottom two rows of the pyramid being the most critical at this time. We began with food and water and filled the boat with a month or two of reserves. We bought a generator just in case we had prolonged days without wind or sun. We depend on our batteries to run the fridges and the water maker. We needed a new Takakat dinghy, but with the factory in China closed for the virus, we couldn't source a replacement. We hastily got a standard dinghy sent down from the States. Well, never a dull moment in Belize. I'm just parked outside FedEx, uh, the customs area. Well, actually, I don't know what area it is, to be honest. I'm dealing with people in uniform, uh, but they don't, um, yeah, they don't follow the book. So I'll probably fill you in more later, but we've just driven away, having got an unsatisfactory result on uh, receiving an inflatable dinghy from, from the US. Um, with some of the prices being talked are ridiculous. We're a yacht in transit, so technically no duty is payable. I'm happy to pay a bit of um, a fee for the paperwork involved or handling charges, but the duty payable is very high and it's unreasonable. My driver's just gone off to have another word to the gentleman in charge. Uh, we're basically negotiating a settlement at the moment. And right behind us on the other side is a narco plane. Let me flip you around. So over there, that rather flash looking twin jet aircraft, Learjet, was found in the jungle a couple of weeks ago on a jungle airstrip. They've flown it here, it's now impounded, but apparently that is a narco plane. All the registration numbers have been painted over and there's no seating on board. Right, I will fast forward a few days and here we are on anchor. This is our dinghy here at last. Yes, Leo. Yeah, I know you want the fuzzy. And here's the dinghy. Pretty much as we packed it after a pretty rough old bus trip down from Belize City. Wow, you can pull that one, Leo. Take that out of the way. What's this? SB sports boat that's it yeah we decided to go with the sports boat brand from Amazon because we saw a friend Steve with one at uh, Rio Dulce he just got it and it was uh, looked like quite a well-made tidy little dinghy. Leo has the 
theme we were most concerned about we're trying to have uh, a dinghy narrow enough to go straight up our swim ladder so that'll be the test when we get it inflated to see whether it can come up the swim ladder and also sit sort of a thwart chips between the tiller bar and the back end of the pod and inflate it of course with the engine on seat I imagine. Seat cover. Alright, let's blow it up and see if it works. So this thing here blows up, becomes a bit of a like a V bottom. Oh. Supports the aluminum? Uh, supports it, yeah. <laughs> Gives you a V-shaped hull yeah. instead of a catamaran as we had before. Mm -hmm. These are the side rails that are going to lock these joins together. <laughs> you <laughs> it's too excited. Feels tight, so should I stop? Yes. Yes, there you go, look at that. It's got the little reinforced reinforced rubber keel looks good honey looks tight enough to me By mid-March we were self-isolated, on anchor and ready for come what may. pivot on which all life on board spins. Seeing him discover all the wonderful tropical fruits Belize offers makes us so happy. For breakfast, do you want avocado or apple or apple or banana? So you have to choose which one. Avocado, apple, or banana? Which breakfast? Wow, every morning almost. <gasps> wow. You never okay. tired of avocado, aren't you? Huh? Avocado is your favorite? Well, enjoy it. That's the last one. Until the truck comes from Mexico, hopefully next Tuesday. Leo, this morning for breakfast, would you like banana, apple, or pear? Yeah, oh, okay. Something new. Do you want to do a um, double blind test on this? <laughs> mm -hmm. Would you like pear? But ah, 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 banana or apple? <laughs> Still the pear. Mm -hmm. Okay. From the Prime Minister of Belize, who has uh, named this as his ultimate step 
There is a 14-day quarantine for the entire country. And um, as far as the boats are concerned, we're to stay in the harbor. I did announce a flight out of Belize City to Houston and then on to the UK. However, uh, it's unclear whether it has been rescheduled or cancelled altogether. Leo, this morning for breakfast, do you want an orange? Uh -uh. Do you want a big banana? Do you want a... No, not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Uh, big banana or small banana? Uh -oh. Or, Leo? Wait. Or a pineapple? Orange? Think about it, orange, orange, big banana, small banana, pineapple. Orange. Still want the orange? Yeah, he still wants the orange. Pineapple looks interesting, but... You choose. Yeah, I think it was the orange all along, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, nice organic orange. Look at that. That's a really sweet, beautiful orange. Looks ugly, though. So that is a good Belize orange from Balmapan. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Well, it's the same as this. I mean, this is the same juice from the huge orange orchards they have out west of here. No preservatives, no added sugar. This is a whole Belizean product. Belizean product kept in the fridge as soon as it's bottled. 100% pure. Wonderful. One of the great things about being here in Belize. Easy supply of vitamin C. This email is addressed to all the people who are planning to enter Guatemala and are waiting for an opportunity to do so as possible. First, I want to clarify that foreigners are not yet allowed to enter Guatemala. Leo, this morning for breakfast, do you want pineapple or, or Wait. mango or, Wait. or pawpaw? Do you want papaya? Pawpaw. Okay, you choose pineapple, mango, or pawpaw. Which one? What do you think? Which one would you like for breakfast? I thought it was the poor poor, yeah, okay. Belize has, um, has 11 days with no change in the cases and deaths. The marine parks will remain closed. This morning, would you like banana or cantaloupe or 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 apple? Banana, cantaloupe or apple? Cantaloupe. Mm. This one, okay. <laughs> You'd like a fruit salad this morning, is that it? <laughs> Make up your mind. Which one? Banana, cantaloupe or apple? Which one? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what I really think is so marvellous about nature and why it's just so prolific. I mean, have a look at that. Every single one of those seeds is viable. It's a viable cantaloupe vine so from one cantaloupe you could grow literally well i don't even know i mean how many cantaloupes on a cantaloupe vine let's say 10, Not 10 100. or 100 <laughs> and each one of those will go on and produce all these seeds and each one of those oh my goodness the exponential growth the yield i mean you talk about yield and banking and hedge funds and I mean, Jamie Diamond, he couldn't get a yield like nature can provide. Look at that lot.
all ready to go, all viable. Put them in the ground and got a cantaloupe's coming out of your ears. This morning for breakfast, would you like mango or two bananas or cantaloupe? What would you like for breakfast? Which one? Choose one. Which one, Leah? Make up your mind. Why are you testing it all? Mango. 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 Wow. Okay. Wow. Ah. Mm. Here you go, Leo. Oh, hang on a minute. Let me open it up. Wee, wee, wee. Then it just breaks off. There you go. The mango hedgehog. He really kicked on then. That's why we're dressed. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to get water. <laughs> Would you believe? We're off to the fuel station. So exciting. Leo and I haven't been out for almost one month, or maybe more. Right? So this is this is a big day for us. Exciting. Good job, Leo. Great steering there, Leo. Mm -hmm. Now go get the water. <laughs> right? Yeah, I know you like to work harder. I like the exercise too. You can't mm -hmm. complain. Okay, Leo, action. <laughs> okay, I'll climb up here then. Is that what the producer wanted me to do? Let us know in the comments below if you think a yacht is a good bug out plan and what you would have on board to make it work. 
Please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel and leave any other comments below that you'd like to add. Until next time, thank you for watching.